Hi, my name is Maggie, and I'm with the Nooksack Salmon Enhancement Association, or NC for short. At NC, our mission is to educate, inspire, and engage the community to take action to keep wild salmon here for future generations. Thank you for tuning in to the first video in an ongoing series called Upstream, where we will be answering your questions about salmon habitat and ecology. For these first videos, I will be introducing you to the five local species of Pacific salmon, starting with pink salmon. Pink salmon are also known as humpies or humpback salmon for the exaggerated dorsal hump that forms in mature males. Pink are the smallest of the five local Pacific salmon species, reaching up to 24 inches long and usually weighing between three and five pounds. For reference, a filled one liter Nalgene water bottle weighs about two pounds. While at sea, pink salmon are silvery on the sides and have large oval spots on their backs and tails. As spawning adults, the ventral silver color is replaced with pale pink coloration and olive brown to white blotches below the lateral line. They are the most abundant Pacific salmon species and also the smallest at maturity. Pink salmon are known for their precise two-year life cycle, meaning that all individuals spawn after two years of life. In the Nooksack watershed, pink salmon spawn during odd years, which means the next time we will see adult pink salmon in the Nooksack River and its tributaries will be fall of 2021. Pinks usually spawn in the lower reaches of rivers, but also have spawning grounds further upstream and tributaries. Pink fry begin the downstream migration to saltwater soon after emerging from the gravel and are not dependent on a lengthy period in freshwater to grow before outmigrating to the ocean.